You know, one of the uh, beautiful of the many innumerable, beautiful and true uh, statements of John Paul II in an encyclical called Redemptoris Missio, the mission of the Redeemer, which is about evangelization. And he talks about how <coughs> many uh, people, including Catholics, uh, don't understand how you could evangelize because it suggests that you are in possession of something that other people need. What, you know, you mean your religion is better than my religion? You know, don't impose your religion on me, that kind of uh, reaction. And John Paul says in Redemptoris Missio, a marvelous passage, he says, the church imposes nothing. She only proposes. The church imposes nothing. She only proposes. But what she proposes, she believes, is the truth. And the truth does impose itself on us because we are hardwired, if you will, for the truth, including the truth about human sexuality and marriage and the creation of new life. And um, so that I think the marriage preparation process in all of its many forms is basically a proposal. It's not an imposition, but a proposal. A proposal that is proposed persistently and persuasively and winsomely um, of a more excellent way. And, and that, in a, in a way, is to say that it's simply part of the whole mission of the church, which is to propose to the world a more excellent way. The phrase, uh, of course, again, is from St. Paul at the end of 1 Corinthians 12, when he's been talking about all of the difficulties with the Corinthian Christians. And then he says, let me show you a more excellent way. And then, of course, follows the great uh, unsurpassable hymn of love that is 1 Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongue of men and angels and have not love, faith, hope, love, these three abide, and the greatest of these is love. So that's, that's it encapsulates the whole mission of the church, the entire apostolate also of marriage preparation is to persuasively, believably propose a more excellent way for men and women to live together in creative fidelity to the plan of God for life and life abundant.